How to behave on an internet forum. On the internet. The internet can be either a Brillo wow place to hang out and pretend to be chummy with people you don't really know through the power of ASCII, or a horrible nightmare filled with scornful pricks you'll want to stab in the eye with a stick. It just seems to be something of a shame that several people out there don't seem to understand the rules of the internet, so here's how to behave properly in a forum. Step 1. Flame Wars by and large, the trouble with the internet, and forums in particular, is that everyone gets to be anonymous. This essentially gives them free reign to be as snooty and argumentative as they like. A troll posts deliberately controversial or annoying messages for the specific purpose of getting a rise out of people and initiating a hate-filled and overly argumentative thread. The appropriate course of action is simply not to respond. Don't feed the troll. Step 2. Godwin's Law Godwin's Law states that, as an online discussion grows longer, the probability of a comparison involving Nazis or Hitler approaches 1. What that means in real terms is that sooner or later, someone involved in a forum argument will be likened to a Nazi, or displaying Hitler-like tendencies. Please note that if you're the one invoking Godwin's Law and likening someone to a Nazi, you've immediately lost the argument because it's such a lame-ass low blow. Step 3. Fanboys. Approximately 99.9% .9 of all online forums are based around video games. Sadly, there are several members of the video game community who have such an overly fanatical devotion to their particular console that, that they're somehow incapable of admitting that any other system might have good features too. They're best ignored because fanboys are basically a special subset of troll, and as such are all Nazis and or Hitler. Step 4. Teenagers. Sadly, teenagers are allowed on the internet too, and they have funny ways of spelling and don't understand that proper grown-ups don't want to put up with their pubescent attempts at humour. There's nothing you can do about teenagers on the internet, you'll just have to learn to circumnavigate them. Not all teenagers are evil, mind. Just most of them. Step 5. Post count. Every time you post, your post count goes up by one. Some people seem to think that the higher their post count, the more worthy and valuable they are to society at large. Frankly, the exact opposite seems to be the case. If you're replying in a thread, make sure that your writing is funny, interesting, or funny and interesting. Yeah, I agree, lol. Is not in any way, shape, or form a valid reply ever. Step 6. Respect the admins. It's their website, and they can do whatever the hell they like with it. You're a guest, and hassling them about how they run things is akin to going around to your auntie's house and curling one out in the teapot. Step 8. Don't use all caps in your posts. Ever. Shouting through the written word is pointless and annoying. Clearly. Step 7. Lurk before posting. Don't just jump into the forum spouting off reams and reams of your amazing knowledge of the intricacies of World of Warcraft in binary. Lurk around for a bit first and read some threads to see whether or not that's even remotely the sort of thing people there would be interested in. Step 9. Keep on topic. If a thread's all about how amazing a new 2D Sonic the Hedgehog game would be, don't derail it and start talking about something else entirely like Chun-Li's thighs. Make a new thread if you absolutely must. Step 10. Picture etiquette. Don't post massive pictures that are wider than most people's screens. What's more, don't post massive pictures of filthy grotty porn or anything in case people are at work. Not even the most ardent heterosexual likes looking at boobies when they're sat next to their boss. It's enough to put them off for life. Step 11. Not safe for work. What's more, make sure you mark any risque links as not safe for work, just in case, and make sure doing so is in keeping with the forum's tone. By and large, just remember to be excellent to each other, be all civil and pleasant, keep your tongue firmly in your cheek, and get a nice thick skin. Done.